Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. <clears throat> And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about um, two camps, two Hebrew Israelite camps. <clears throat> You know, IUIC and ISUBK, they got into another fight. Um, they got into a, a fight uh, months ago, and now they got into another fight. And uh, the rumor has it, a couple of brothers from IUCBK got arrested. A brother broke his leg. Um, so that's just all I've heard so far. Um... <clears throat> So basically, man, I'm not surprised about ISUBK. Anything negative in in the news of Israel, if it's ISUBK, it's to be expected. I wish I can show you the clips. I, I can't find them. I haven't. I really didn't even look because it's really not that important. But we know that these niggas want to be thugs man they they really want to be thugs they want to turn this uh this ministry into some gangster shit um i do remember um a gms camp uh one of those camps um usually camp on a certain street in a certain spot and i used to be k decided to to go to the exact same spot that where the brothers were of Great Millstone teach all the time and just post up on a spot and teach. And the brothers came up there and said, Hey bro, this, this is our spot, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You you know what I'm saying you taking another man's you know what I'm saying spot. Like this is our spot, bro. And they was really niggas about it. It was like, man, fuck you, we taking your spot. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, man? Like they treat they treating this shit like it's some gang shit, bro. And the brothers didn't swing on them or nothing. They didn't get carnal or nothing. They just said, all right, you, you got it, nigga. Or we'll just go somewhere else. <laughs> like, it ain't, like, it ain't that big of a deal. But they try to treat this like, oh, we ran them niggas off the block. So they always been niggas, man. And then on top of that, man, they I think they were on um, this platform called Vice. Where they were, you know, so they had the gun range with guns. And, and they promoting guns guns and and shit like what are y'all nigga what are you what are you doing you know but you know it's to be expected because their leadership and and and, and their mentality is nigga shit these these they these, these, these just niggas and them niggas been getting their ass beat lately <laughs> the lord been the lord been you know what I'm saying spanking them lately man and using other camps to do it man and so far, IOIC been whooping their ass straight up. It's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Every time I see a clip or something, them niggas is on the ground either getting arrested or they just getting pinned down by somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, but they both wrong because they both shouldn't be fighting each other. But it's one camp that you can definitely expect some carnal nonsense to happen in this IUCBK because they really want to be thugs, man. IUIC really be on their best behavior. They they really be peaceable, you know. But it's them it's them them IUCBK niggas. Is, <laughs> they they be cooked, man. You know, what I'm saying you just it's just stay away from them guys, man. But uh, we're not supposed to be like this towards each other. Even if we do disagree on doctrine and things of that nature, we're still not supposed to be swinging on each other because we're still Israel. And we are still of the same blood, same, you know, saying same heritage, same God. 
right? So we're supposed to, you know, to know how to speak to one another because the scriptures tell us how to speak to each other, all right? So with that, this is Matthews 5 and 9. It says, Blessed be the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So you want to be a peacemaker, man. You know, if it, it gets to a point where it's about to become the blows with like-minded men, because they are like-minded men, they are Israelites. Just, just resolve the situation. Figure out cooler heads shall prevail. Just leave, all right? Because remember, you could be touching the apple of the Lord's eye. If the Lord and brought wicked men into righteous men, like straight up, he did, look what he did to Paul. You may look at that dude and be like, man, this nigga wicked, this nigga this and that. People looked at Paul. Paul persecuted the Christians, man. You know, the followers of Yahweh Shai or the followers of Yahweh. You know? I'm, I'm pretty sure they looked at Paul like that, man. And now look at Paul. You know, the Lord converted him and taught him directly. You know what I'm saying? So... You just never know who is who in spirit. So you want to you want to be a peacemaker, man. All right, and be a child of God. All right, you want to be a son of God. Truly, He is the Father. We are His children. All right, so we got to be at peace with each other, man. It is what it is. You know, we gonna disagree here. We we in the flesh. We gonna feel some type of way, but it should not come to blows, man. All right, it just shouldn't. This is uh, Romans 12 and 18. It says, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peacefully with all men. That means heathens and brothers. Your actual brothers, brothers from other camps that have different doctrines. Heathens, everybody. Be at peace with, with everybody. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures talk about a soft answer turns away wrath. That could be with anybody. You know what I mean? So you want to be at peace with all men because you just never know how things can escalate. All right. You know, men have been, you know, put to death out here in these streets, man. All right. Because of the way they speak and the actions that they, they uh, promote and, and, and do. So you want to be careful out here, man. You don't want to be fighting it. What if something would have went wrong in that fight? Allegedly, the a brother broke his leg. You know, he gonna be down for months. You know what I mean? Probably in a wheelchair, crutches. You know, or things could escalate into something worse, man. So you don't, you don't, you want to be at peace with all men. All right, you don't want to be out here like a raging bull out here. All right, you don't, don't want to be a brawler, man. All right, you just don't want that. And if you do disagree, this is Amos uh, 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? The answer is no. So you can't walk together if you can't agree. Can't agree on something, just move along, man. All right, just move along. Matthews 10 and 14, it says, And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart, out of the house or the city shake off the dust of your feet so just shake off the dust of your feet man and just okay he not hearing like you know i used to be k they not trying to hear that the motb is the chip you know what i mean like we know what they they teach you know iuic we know that they don't teach that yahweh shy is the name of of the lord you know what i'm thinking you know and yahweh ain't the name and we're not going to turn it into a doctrine, they say. You know, like we know already. So we're just going to shake the dust off our feet and move along, man. We know y'all, we don't, we, don't, we don't agree. But we're going to move on. We ain't going to fight about it. When we see IU, IHBK or IUIC in the street, we ain't going to fight. we just going to, hey, you know, hey, even when we see them, hey, sh shalom. Even a, a dude at my job was a IUIC, I, I should say shalom to him. He, he was a weirdo, you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't say it back, but whatever, you know, it is what it is, man. But we got to be at peace with each other. 
because this is a, a learning curve, man. It's scripture say we're gonna judge the angels, man. What the fuck? Like we gotta be able to judge the smallest matters, and this is a small matter. So just separate if you know things are about to escalate into something worse. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.